Damn, Rose, back at it again with the studio setup. Hi, I'm Veggie Rose, and today we're going to be talking about my six-month vegan update, specifically about five topics. First, going out to eat, health, acne, and last, but definitely not least, non-vegan cravings. All right, let's get into it. So, I've been vegan for six months now. And it's just been an awesome six months. If you would have told me seven months ago that I was going to be vegan at this point, I probably would have laughed in your face, honestly. So, I've, 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 I wasn't sure if I was going to stick to it in the beginning. I wasn't sure if I was going to be strong enough to like fight off any cravings that I might have gotten. And I'll let you know more about cravings later on. But I'm still here, I'm strong, and I'm moving along. All right, so topic number one going out to eat. So it's been so much easier for me to go out and eat now at the six month mark. I've just been way more comfortable uh, looking through menus, even at a place that they might not have many options to begin with. It's just so much easier for me to figure out what I want. And I'm not shy to just say, hey, this is not on your menu. Can I kind of like customize something and you guys make me something that I can actually eat? And they're, they've all been more than helpful and more than willing to do something custom for me. So going out to eat, so much easier. Topic number two is health. I feel physically great right now. So I'll link two videos down below that have more detail on my health problems prior to becoming vegan. But all in all, my heart problems have gone away, my stomach pains have gone away, and so have my migraines have just faded away altogether. So physically, I feel fantastic. And looking back at it now, I wish I would have known all the health benefits of being vegan. But all in all, health, good. Third, acne. And you're watching this and you're probably like, Rose, don't even go with the acne thing because I've noticed that you've been breaking out. Yes, I have been breaking out lately. It's due to stress. I've been stressing about like the weirdest, dumbest things because I'm like the anxious type of person. All in all, I wish my acne would have improved more by this point. But I know that my high stress levels are causing more acne. But at least it's not as frequent as it used to be. Number four is energy levels. I've always been a super energetic person, like just hyper and talkative, but lately I've noticed that, and I've actually noticed this from the beginning, um, that since I've gone vegan, my energy for working out and just getting out and doing things have been so much higher. I just, I, I feel like I, I have to be active and walk and hike and, and bike and all that stuff, because if not, I feel kind of like, like I get angsty and I want to get out there and do stuff. Like my energy levels are so much better for working out and staying active, which is awesome. Number five is non-vegan cravings. Bum, bum, bum. Yes, I said it, non-vegan cravings. I mean, I was honest with you before where I hadn't had any non-vegan cravings at the moment. But right now, at this time, I have been actually getting non-vegan cravings. I haven't been craving meat because... Meat just repulses me and saddens me and I have no one's desire to get even near meat and the smell of it just bothers me. But I have been craving cheese lately. I haven't been eating vegan cheese either, which is probably why I've been craving actual cheese. But when I see like a commercial for pizza or like grilled cheese or just cheese in general, I just kind of, I start freaking out a little bit. I'm like, oh my God, it's cheese. Oh oh my god like my my heart turns to like a little block of cheese that starts just melting i've always been a huge huge cheese fan now that being said once i get into that mentality where i'm kind of freaking out about wanting cheese i kind of automatically switch myself into thinking rose you know the kind of crazy stuff and the hurt and the pain and the just tragedy that goes into making that cheese that you think smells so delicious so i think that and i'm like you know what? I, I don't even know why I was craving that to begin with. But it does happen. It has been happening pretty often. But I've been fighting the urge with the thoughts of why I became vegan to begin with. And why it is that I chose not to eat dairy or meat and all that stuff. So it's easy to fight off the cravings that I have been getting. Like I said, maybe I just need to go and get like, you know, some uh, chow cheese and make myself a grilled cheese sandwich. So anyways... Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and give it a big old thumbs up. Also, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.